Welcome to Design Hub. Design Hub, motive to provide best and qualitative education for engineers. Design Hub, try to link engineering design with Design for manufacturing concept Design for assembly concept And design optimization with FIA study So at the last of watching all videos You will be able to use your theoretical concept With practical innovative approach And design industrial product so let's start. This is second video of pressure vessel design. From basic to advance. This video helps you to understand the vessel shape importance for pressure handling. Let's start. Pressure vessel shape theoretically can be any shape. Like sphere, cylindrical, rectangular, etc. But due to some manufacturing and cost-wise constraint, some common shapes are mostly used in industry. First we discuss about most optimized shape, spherical pressure vessel, then we link spherical pressure vessel concept, with horizontal cylindrical pressure vessel shape, vertical cylindrical pressure vessel shape, and lastly with end cap. Spherical pressure vessel, is very strong, with same thickness, it can handle more pressure, than other shape. Now, I confused. Why spherical pressure vessel is so strong? Because of, in spherical shape, evenly distribution of pressure, in spherical surface. And similarly, evenly distribution of stresses, in spherical surface. You can see, in this diagram, Pressure distribution on spherical surface. And now we discuss about stress distribution. Due to evenly distribution of pressure, stress generate in vessel wall, are equal, in both direction. This is hoop stress. This is longitudinal stress. And in spherical vessel, both are equal. Where sigma equals pressure multiply by radius of pressure vessel divide by two time of thickness of vessel. And due to equal in both direction. More circle for spherical pressure vessel is point, and this point value, is this one. Unhappily, spherical vessel have some manufacturing limitation. So most of the pressure vessel, shapes cylindrical, with 2 to 1 elliptical head cap. If you like Design Hub videos, comma, and you want to support Design Hub, you can donate from description link. And please comment and like this video, this provide motivation to make more design support related videos. Regards Design Hub.
Now we start simulation and check the strength of spherical pressure vessel. First we have to make 3D model using revolve command. Now we make new study. Then define constraint. As per instruction, next video we will discuss about constraint in detail, so right now just follow only instruction. Then define pressure on inside spherical pressure vessel surface. For this study, design pressure is 150 psi. Then mesh the model using fine type meshing. After that run the analysis. And check the result. You see, both stress results approximately near 40 megapascal. This is y directional stress and this is equal to x directional stress, as per theoretical formulation. Now simulation is complete, if you want to more this type of study. So please comment. Thank you, your sincerely design hub.